The nightly beckoning of the forest, whispering secrets in darkness, has been overlooked by humans in recent times. However, a change is underway as more people are drawn to forest bathing, immersing themselves in nature to cleanse their souls. This practice involves a contemplative walk through the woods, fostering a deep connection with nature. Scientific evidence now supports its benefits, showing that wandering among the trees reduces heart rates, blood pressure, or sympathetic nerve activity. The presence of fighting sides in the forest also strengthens the human immune system. Another beneficial practice is earthing. We're walking barefoot on the soil allows the body to absorb antioxidants. Forest bathing is both mystical and medicinal, urging individuals to decelerate and attune themselves to nature. It emphasizes mindfulness, being present in the moment, and appreciating nature's tranuity. This practice offers both spiritual cleansing and tangible physical advantages. But one must embrace mindfulness to fully experience these benefits. Tonight, I will embark on this journey, fully immersing myself in the magic of the forest. Okay, so I'm outside. There is pretty much almost full moon. And, uh, lots of trees here. Also, I'm like, and then pop train the trees in my house. I'll be going up in there pretty much, but for now I'll just do it over here. Extending to the trees, by the way, if you can't see that. I'm casting uh, the energy into me and I'm casting all of my energy into them. Oh, Jeremiah, please fill me with your essence. I want you to be in me more than someone. Show me all of my sins. I'm struggling to indulge me tonight. But tonight is the night. The same as I might be fine. It was clear, and I think I just had a ghost train, so uh, my storage is kind of running out, so I'll see you. Six, six, six.
I got my sprinkler finally, and uh, I can lightly smell fire, if being honest, I think hell's open. I mean, it is 3 a.m. right now, so honestly, it wouldn't be surprising. Uh, I'm not going to film me um, getting wet by the sprinkler, because for own safety reasons, so... This is kind of different from a bath. Usually from a bath, you have control of it, but uh, this sprinkler is like but wild crazy, so. Oh, I am sufficiently wet. Uh, kind of cold, and as of making this video, uh, it is 45 degrees, and as you can see, the, yeah, and this water on March, oh, but I think it goes down to the negative, so, uh, consider that to be, uh, Well, you probably also clicked on this video. Wondering how this place is on it. Clearly, I am out of luck. I heard shuffling through the trees, so... As I was saying, this land is haunted, one, directly because of me, and two, because this land in itself is haunted. Um, the one directly caused by me, it's because, you know, the devil follows me around and all that. Um, he's here sometimes, hanging by the trees. Um, one time I was even over there, looking through the window inside. I was inside the house, and I was looking through the window out into here. And I could have sworn. It's weird how your eyes can play tricks on you, but... Silhouettes. I guess you would sometimes call them shadow people. I don't know. But I could see a gentleman hanging by his neck from a tree. If I looked directly at it. If I looked indirectly at it, it would turn into a sight. So I took that as a sign of some sort. Then again, things can play tricks on you, but I don't think that was it. Now, as far as the history of this land goes, um, in the 19th century, I believe, I'm not sure if it was early or late, but there was this girl named Betsy. She, um, not really sure what happened to her. Not really sure of her story, but she does hang around homes quite often. Not really surprising, though. I mean, you know. But she took a liking to me when I was very, like, as soon as I came into this house, pretty much. I mean, when I was, like, born, pretty much. And she wanted to play with me and all of that. And I still like her. She's definitely... Although, being a very small girl, um, she's definitely one of my friends, I'll say that. And in the 1920s, this was a place where a... Okay, I know that you, Jeremiah, and including myself, wouldn't like hearing about this. I mean, unless you like drama or something. But, 
yeah, it's pretty much with Joan Valeska. There was a ginger-haired serial killer teenage boy, literally, with an axe and all that, um, killing people over here. And, uh, a lot of shit happened to him. Let's just say that. Kind of like how, you know, Joan's backstory is, although probably a little bit worse. Um, and, uh, he took care of people that needed to be taken care of. Uh, if you, uh, get what I mean. Wink, wink. So, when I was, I hate to admit it, but it's my past, so it's not how I'm, I am now. When I was a clowness, um, and I often hang out with each other. Um, yeah, he was a really good guy. So, yeah, this is why my land is haunted. And, yeah, that's pretty much the history of this place. Two, not directly because of me, and one, directly because of me. I'll let you guys just listen in to the eerie sounds that Holmes is probably making right now. Not sure if you can hear it or not. Like and subscribe or else home will slaughter you. Remember that he watches over you all.